All right, now I'm going to show you a few tricks that you can use in order to augment your design. So in this in this case, I have my layer that has the template. Um, I have my cut and my fold. And the lines that make out cut are black and they are 0 0.001 inches. And the ones that are green are 0 0.001 inches. And the level of green is 255 green. Okay. So that is my layout. Now, here's a few things that you can do. Let's say I need to augment lines. Well, I can augment one line at a time. I can go to the black arrow and I can click on this and I can select simple points. Okay. Just like that. If I need to finitely scotch, scotch, I call it, over a little bit, I can click on one of these nodes, the vertex of it, and then I can use my arrow tool on my keyboard to move this. Now, I can move it in very fine increments because in my preferences, I have behavior steps set to 0 0.01. Now, that one's insanely low. I want 0 0.05 now that I think about it. Now if you can see my keyboard, I can move my little node very finitely using the arrow tool. So what I'm looking at in your design is all these are touching other lines. There is no gap. I'm very particular about this too. So make sure everything touches. All right. So, let's say I need to augment a whole bunch of lines at the same time. How do I do that? Well, we might have to give up our layers for a little bit. And what we do here is we go object, or path, combine. Okay, by combining all the paths, now I can go into this tool, and you can see they're all in the same place. I can still move them around. But the nice thing is, I can change the whole design and if I can hold control I can make this longer this way I can make it wider in certain aspects but remember when you go to fold it up things are going to change so if I if I go messing with the design I have to really think about what I'm changing here because when I go to fold it it might not make sense anymore so this is the unit two. It's the way of looking at decompiling a design and recompiling it back into a new design. Those are just some of the tools. I wanted to show you the, the preferences that I had set so you can move these very finitely and the ability to put them together. The other thing is you can go into path and now break apart. But if you look here, the cut and the fold are on the same layer. So now you also have to change these back to the color they need to be. So, and be able to move these back onto the layer that you need to go. So holding shift, I can highlight many, and then I can move to layer, and this is going on to my fold layer. So I should be able to toggle off cut, it only gets rid of cut, this one only gets rid of fold. Also, here's another tip, you can go into outline mode and you can see things a lot easier because of the colors not being there. See, Like that one for example. This little node right here needs to move over a little bit. Okay, so those are some design tips for Inkscape. Let's move on to the next video.